Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm your girl Hopper Tailshay. Thank y'all for being here and joining me. I greatly do appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna see what's going on. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Okay, so Spirit, what do you have for the collective today? What do they need to be aware of at this time with the person that they're currently thinking about? Please keep in mind that these are general readings, okay? General messages, so it may or may not resonate. When we talk about the person that is currently on your mind, so Spirit, try to cut them what they need to know in here at this time. Anyone being aware of any negative energy, please return that energy. All right, what do we have for the collective today, Spirit? What's the message today for the collective's highest good? What's the message for the collective's highest good? Healing your heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. All right, so for some of you, you are definitely healing your heart from this individual. You're working on yourself. You're you're, you're putting putting the pieces back together. Some of you are definitely in this energy where you're trying as you're healing. You are working on manifesting exactly what you're wanting. You're keeping a positive mindset. Okay, the person that's on the collective mind. For some of you, your person's trying to heal their heart after being in some type of like toxic connection, some type of addiction. Okay, freeing themselves from something that's not working out for them. Love, yeah, somebody got unconditional love for you. And I feel like whoever this is, as they're healing and feeling like they got to work on things, it's not like, because somebody still got affectionate towards you. They still got passion towards you. I feel like maybe the past person didn't really love themselves. So how could they love you? You know, but what this is, I feel like they're going to take a chance towards you. They're not going to let you know their next move, but there's somebody here who's definitely going to show you how much they love you and how much you mean to them. Yep. See, there's about to be a sudden change, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, a transformation. So yeah, somebody here is wanting to switch up things with you. Yep. They want the relationship to evolve to the next phase. Okay, somebody here is working on their their um inner child, inner healing. What else for the collective's highest good? What do they know about this person that's on their mind right now, spirit? What else does the collective need to know about the person that is currently on their mind? What else? Yep, this is somebody here who broke your heart. And I feel like... You never saw this coming. You would have never thought this person would have done this. But y'all two are separated, whoever y'all two are. But this person, look at you, somebody who they're sad over this breakup. They're feeling lost. They're grieving. They're mourning over you. Okay? Somebody here knows they did not treat you like they should have been. But this right here who wants you to, they want, this right here who they want things to come to the light. Like they didn't, as they are going through their stages and you're going through your stages, somebody here who wants to write, like really work on this connection, okay? This is my here who doesn't want you to give up on them collective. They're hoping that maybe you'll be like, show them some grace. That you'll be open to fixing this connection. Okay, what else we got for the collective's high skill when it comes to this person? Yeah, this is somebody here who ran. They could have been very codependent. Okay, this is somebody here who possibly ran because of, you know, they had third, somebody was interfering. Or they had was holding on to somebody else at the time. There's a third party involved. This person never listened to their ego. Oh, way too many. Yeah, but the only card that turned over, and I'm going to keep this one. Somebody here that, that y'all broke up with. There's somebody here that y'all stopped the pattern before it got too bad. Okay, there's somebody here that you, maybe they abandoned you in the past, and now you may be abandoning them, it feels like. Y'all just wanted the pattern to stop, so y'all got out of it. Because y'all seen that it was just they repeated the same thing. They beg for you back. You go back with them. They own some bullshit. You find out something. It's like you, you constantly feel like you are healing a heart. Some of you didn't even break this person's heart. But you were fixing a heart that was already broken before you or had been broken for years. And it was like y'all couldn't get to the good parts because this person was too much of their addiction or kept going or with, with, a, with karmics and messing around, sleeping around. Somebody here didn't want the relationship that you wanted at one point in time. But some of you, that y'all get a love call from this person, okay? They're very curious what you got going on. It says, someone expresses a love, message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So somebody here about to reach out to you soon. Somebody here who could, who could be watching you. Some of you, they've been trying to talk to you, but you've been avoiding them because, like I said, you feel like it's the same repeated patterns, okay? You're tired of the same same thing over and over again. The person that's on the collective's mind, what do they need to know right now, Spirit? The person that is currently on the collective's mind, what do they need to know? Yep. 
So heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together perfect. Somebody here is, is wanting to get the key to your heart again. Okay, this is my here. And look, the song that's playing is Let's Get Married by Jagged Edge. And it says, this is the Jagged Edge heartbreak. So yeah, somebody's definitely in their heartbreak, heartbreak energy, like they're heartbroken. And that's what one of the cards that came out. Okay, engagement ring. Somebody here wants to get married. They want a partnership. Yep, they're sad. They're missing you. They're thinking about you, yearning for you. They don't quite sure know what the future holds, but somebody's keeping faith that they if they still show up for you, that, you know, you may end up taking it back. But what it all comes down to was this person, there's a separation, and this person did something that maybe that at, at the time or at this time, you just feel like it's very unforgivable right now. You feel like, you know, you, you, did, you did a number on me and I don't know how I can accept you back in my life. I don't know where we can go from here. You know, I don't, I don't know if I'm willing to hear you out or be back with you. Okay. So this is somebody here that you're definitely kind of like contemplating about. You don't, you're not quite sure. You've gotten readings on this person. You hear what the reader's saying. You, you get in the guidance, but a part of you wants to stay. A part of you just like, you know what? I don't feel like nothing will ever change. I'm going to be constantly trying to, you know, fix this person up for them to only go and run off with somebody else. You know? So, let's see. So, who is this that we're talking about today? The person that stabbed the collective energy. Did something that probably right now seems unforgivable. But don't, but don't think for a second this person is just living a jolly lifestyle. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody here is not as happy as they may seem. Somebody here just don't know what to say or do right now is what I'm picking up. Some of you are just tired of hearing words. I'm ready for something to change here. Okay. Spirit, what do we have for the closest high school? Tell me more. The person that's on their mind, what's going on? The person that's on the cut this mind. This is my here who wants to work things out with you. It could be a Capricorn. They want to collab, they want to fix something, okay? They they want y'all to be together. How's this person feeling about the collective? Yeah, there's somebody here who feel like they've learned a lot of lessons, and I feel like they're they're currently trying to close off things that are not good for them. Somebody here may want to travel towards you. Okay, this is my here who wants justice. They want fairness, okay? They want to get clarity on the situation. They want to know how you're feeling. That's a clock I need to know. Yeah, somebody, it could be a Leo. Somebody here wants, like, victory with you. They want to move forward here with you, Collective. They want movement. They know it's a challenge, but I feel like they, they want to pursue you, okay? How is this person feeling about the collective right now, Spirit? Who is this? How is this person feeling? Yeah, somebody feel like you walked away. Walked away already, okay? They want to work with you, but they feel like it's too late. They're disappointed in themselves. It's my here like, like you had to withdraw from, even if you didn't want to. You walked away. And I feel like you weren't happy about walking away. Look, never get over me. This person, you could the Pisces. They pray that you never get over them. And somebody here who wants justice could be a Libra. There's somebody here who feel like, you know, they, they, they want some fairness. They want to balance something here out with you. They're thinking of like new ways to communicate with you. They want to know what's going on with you. What's, what, how's life going for you? If you're okay, what you're doing. Yeah, because somebody here is mentally could be a Gemini. Yeah, they're definitely stuck on you. They, they stay up late at night thinking about you, Collective. They think about, you know, long-term goals. How can they work towards this? Okay, somebody here could even be getting karma for the way they treated you. Tell me more from the collector's person, the moon. Somebody here is is wants to repress their emotions. Like they want to tell you how they're feeling right now. Okay, it could be a Pisces. They're very insecure. They're they're feeling very dark. They're they're very confused because it's like I love the collective, but they're not saying much of anything. They're not really expressing themselves. Maybe that's what y'all waiting on. Why is the moon in reverse? Yeah, because somebody here is wanting to let you know that they want, they see you as a wish fulfillment, that they're not quite over you. Yeah, yeah, look. They feel like this love is divine. I'm hearing this love is a sure thing. Okay, somebody here wants to come home. They want to make it right with you. They want a union. This is my here who don't want to keep holding back from you. 
they are confused on where you're going but somebody here feels like maybe there's miscommunication they're very insecure right now they feel like you yeah somebody here don't want you to never get over them somebody will, will possibly may never get over you okay Tell me more. How's this person feeling towards the collective? Somebody wants a happy relationship with you. They want a family with you. Yeah, Libra energy. This is my here who thinks about you a lot. They meditate. They contemplate. And what is this person contemplating about with the four swords? What's the collective this person contemplating about? They think about how they hurt you. Okay, that there's something. Some this is a different type of hurt. Could be a Scorpio. This person hurts you, and they know it. They're very disappointed in themselves. They feel like a failure. There's somebody here who feel like they've lost a good thing. They don't know how to get, get back to it. So, But they're doing a lot of thinking. Somebody here has a lot of regrets. They're disappointed. They feel like a failure. They never thought it would be like this. Some Both of y'all could be just been injured. Where I just don't know what to do, what to say, how to go about it. Y'all don't want to give up on each other. But it's like, what is it? Look, I'm leaving messages and voicemails telling you I miss you. Baby, am I doing too much? So somebody is... Cannot get through to you. He, she said, why are you trying to diss me when I just want to kiss you? Somebody here want to kiss you. But they also feel like they, they doing too much when they reach out. Somebody has been trying to reach out to you. But some of you, you're not open right now. You've walked away. So somebody here is like, am I doing too much? Am I not doing enough? Somebody here is just very in their head when it comes to you. Yeah. And some of you, but if your person is out here giving to other situations, I feel like that's coming to an end. Because it's not fulfilling. You know, it's it's we got Taurus energy here. This my here who is giving, receiving, you know, sharing their their wealth with other people. This my here was very sneaky, or thought they could get by with a lot of things, and that's why for some of you you held back from this person because you like you can't get over on me. You can't get over on me. Clarify the tower. Yep. And some of you, this person could also be working on their toxic ways. Could be a Capricorn. It's like they're kind of doing like some shadow work. Somebody here, like I said, they could have addictions or something. What's this? Uh, the devil energy. Yeah, somebody here realizing that they should have been more loving and stopped being out here treating you like you did something to hurt them. That somebody here wasn't really healed when you got with them anyways. They either were still stuck on somebody or this person could have been, had, like I said, had their own addictions, had temptations. You know, it was just a routine this person was going, to, going through. About that, guys. My alarm went off. But somebody here had destructive behavior. And all you did was, even though this person was toxic or had their ways, and try to come cover it up. This you you still love this person despite of their toxic ways. Some like I said earlier, the first thing I heard was you you healed a heart that that wasn't that you didn't even break. Okay, you lifted this person up. But this person, you know. They let you down. They kept their guard up. They're toxic. They they one minute they were all about you, next minute they're with you. And some of you, you know, you still trying to see the good in this person. Okay. What else does Cleft need to know about that person? Yeah, somebody here misses how happy they were when they were with you when y'all were together. They missed the fun, the enjoyment. They felt they felt good when they knew all was well with you. But I feel like now this person could be ready to use. Ready to come here with the truth and be honest. Okay, they want to leave the past behind. They want to move. They're transitioning. They want a new beginning here with you. This somebody here who has not let you go yet. Why? Because it's like you're the em the empress. You're very nurturing. They even feel feel like they accomplished something by even being able to date someone like you. You know, you're someone that they can like literally brag about. What else, spirit? Yep, you know, this person could be manifesting you, trying to come with a creative way to come back towards you. It's like they're getting very creative. Like they want to come and do something special for you. Yeah. Because they because they're doing this because they feel like they missed an opportunity with you. They feel like it would only be wishful thinking that they would ever be able to be back with you. What's the magician here? What is the magician? They want clarity. Okay. Yeah, see, somebody here trying to manifest you. They want they're they're hoping to have a new beginning in love with you, collective. That's what they're wanting. They want to, but they got to be creative about it. Yeah. And somebody here coming in towards you. Could be a proposal, wanting to start a family. 
somebody who wants to trust their intuition when it comes to you. That's why they want to manifest something here new, new, new with you. Somebody's working on their self confidence. Yeah, they somebody rushing in towards you, collective. They're about to take some action towards you because the will is changing. Look, 1010. Ten. Somebody here wants a family. Somebody wants to settle down with you. They want to do things the right way. That's why they come to here with their cup of love. Why is this person rushing in with the Knight of Swords energy? Why are they rushing in? Because they're making a choice to be with you. They want they want harmony. They want love. Could be a Gemini you're dealing with. Look, Nelly, I love you. I do need you. Said no matter what I do. All I think about is you. Even when I'm with my boo, you know I'm crazy over you. Somebody here could be dealing with somebody, or you could be dealing with somebody, but somebody here is crazy over you. Clarify the lovers. They rushing in time for like defend their honor, defend, you know, themselves. Yeah. See, if they did make another choice against you, chose somebody else over you, it's nothing but conflict, disagreements. And I feel like your person is just trying to move on from that. Any other messages coming from the collective's person? Yeah, somebody here going through a, a, a transition right now. It could be a Scorpio. Okay. Somebody right now is going through a lot of burdens. Okay. What's the death card here? Yeah. Somebody here is just really trying to work on themselves. They're trying to manifest new things, but they know that they must change. Somebody here knows that they, they have to change. This is not going to be, being able to get you back is not going to be easy for this person. Yeah, but they're going to still try to take action towards you because they got an urge to create with you. Some of you, what's this Ace of Wands? They want a new opportunity. They, they feel like it's potential to have a new beginning. Yeah, because this person feels like they want to take action towards you because they feel like Y'all can only go up from here. They want to recover. They want to fix things. They want to heal things with you with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, look. Because they're heartbroken right now. This is my here who only wants things to go up. They only want things to be better. That's why they got an urge to have this new big beginning with you. They have a desire. They got this urge to create with you. They don't want to, they don't want to be in this bad energy. Why is the Ten of Swords in reverse? Somebody here does not want things to be in India. That's why they're going to come here with an offer. They don't want things to be done with you. They only want, they, somebody here want to do something again. They want to start over. One more for the Ten of Swords in reverse. I could be down with a Gemini, a Pisces. Yeah, because they see you as wish fulfillment. Look, the Empress, I told y'all. Somebody here is not giving up on y'all. They want stability. They feel like y'all could be like, like you are their wish come true. Somebody knows you make a good parent, a good wife, a good husband. Like I said, I feel like it's an accomplishment to even be with somebody like you. That's why they're not letting you go. This person wants to change their ways and be with you. They're ready to come here being honest and truthful. Somebody here wants to step up and be the man or the woman that they need to be when it comes to you. See, the, see the, we just saw the empress. The emperor ain't too far behind. Yeah. All right. Any other messages that the collector needs to know at this time when it comes to the person that they're thinking about? Yeah, somebody here got a lot of passion for you. Could be a Leo. Yeah, but somebody here rushing here towards you. Y'all got a message coming from this person soon. What's the eight of um wands? Yep, somebody here wants to reconcile. You're starting to see the bigger picture. One more for the eight of wands. Could be a Sagittarius or Cancer. What else? Sagittarius. Yeah, they want to come towards you because they feel like it's it's been a lot. It's been a battle. They don't want to fight. They, 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 I'm hearing they don't want to fight with you no more. Why have things been a burden? What's the Ten of Wands energy? Yeah. Because somebody here got a lot on their plate. They had choices to make and they didn't possibly make the right choices. And those choices that they didn't make could be a Scorpio. Is why they're now going through a lot of bullshit that they're going through. Yep. Staying up at late at night. Thinking about you. Okay. Don't know what to think. Confused. Lost. Just everything. What is this person's end goal with the collective? What is this person's end goal with the collective spirit? So somebody's end goal is to be able to come in here and be honest with you. They want to tell you the truth. Somebody here wants to cut the bullshit and tell you the truth. What's the king of swords? What is the end goal when it comes to the, this person and the collective? Yeah, somebody here 
Yep, I'll take these. Somebody here is rushing in because they want a second chance with you. They want to do it the right way. Somebody here is like, you know what? I can. I, I'm the man or the woman for the job. It's like being excited to an interview. Somebody here is. I'm here, and somebody here is excited to talk to you. They planning. They want to move forward. It could be an Aries. Yeah, because look, they want a relationship. Somebody here is, is coming here. Their end goal is coming here to tell you the truth, make some progress. They're making a decision. They want to come towards you. Some of you, they want to travel towards you. Some of y'all could be at a distance, but they want to come towards you. Look, the business. So somebody here is all about the business. Somebody here is coming here with good intentions. Okay, that's what that's giving me. If you know exactly what I want to do, then I'm going to give the business to you. Somebody here about to come in here and see and work towards having a new beginning love with you. Yep. And they're going to be talking about it. They want to have understanding. They want to build this bond with you. They don't want to lose you. Somebody here is working towards this connection. Mm -hmm. That's why they're rushing in to have this second chance here with you. They want a new phase. So somebody here is, as you've been set on business, they're about to be set on business, but behind you. They're about to make something here right. They're about to right their wrongs. Okay, so let's get some other messages, please, Spirit. Somebody here definitely wants a second chance here with you. I feel like they're not letting up on you. Their end goal is to tell you the truth, to, to build your bond, to have something. Because I just don't feel like they can just let you go like that. Even if it may be friends, you know, they just don't want you out of their life. But I feel like this person wants more than that. But they know it's going to take a lot to just to win you back. It's just not, it's not going to be easy. What does the collective need to know right now when it comes to this person that they're currently thinking about? What does the collective need to know about this person that they're thinking about? Yeah, so y'all been on a love roller coaster with this person for quite some time. Somebody's person may smoke, but as you know, this person, they've been thinking about the future. But they're kind of paranoid right now because it's about here who I feel like they need to know more about you. Y'all could definitely be at a distance right now. Okay. What else? Yep. Somebody here knows they got to make the first move. They got to. Because you're not you're not budging. They got to be about the business. They got to stand. They got to be right by you. Because you're standing on business. Yeah, somebody here could be stalking you. Stalking your social medias. Probably literally stalking you down past your house. Okay. Yep. This is my here who's never leaving you collective. Okay. They're like, I'm not going nowhere. Somebody here is making that very, very clear. They may be even, some of you, they might be to the point they're going to start catfishing you. <laughs> yeah, but somebody here, they're not leaving you because they feel like you, you're ending something with them. And I've got 10-10 on the timer. They're scared for this ending. Overall energy comes from the closest person. Yep, they want to fall in love with you. They want to have something new. They want to come here with new energy. They miss the chemistry, the bond. For some of you, they even feel a little bit delusional. Because like, I feel all this shit in the closet don't give a fuck about me. <laughs> One more. What is their overall energy towards the collective? So not only are they falling in love with you, but they are wanting y'all to have a happily ever after collective. That's their end goal. They want to get back to those parts of you that they didn't really learn or didn't know in the past. They want to step up to the plate. They want to be open. They want to be honest here with you. Yep. And look, overall energy is saying they want your forgiveness. And look. They want, they want you to look at them the same way. They want you to love them. They want you to feel how you used to feel about them time and time again before. Yep, look. And I can't make this shit up. X returns 11-11 on the timer as I said that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So y'all about to have a... Some of you, your person's coming here with true intentions. They want this relationship. Let me get a confession. Let's get a confession from your person. They're coming here being honest, being truthful. Okay. There's somebody here who felt they never leaving you. You never leaving them. They they really want this connection to work. So y'all about to make somebody change their ways. Or you're making somebody change their ways. Look, Jay Holiday suffocate. Yeah, somebody suffocating when they're not with you. They're going out of their mind. So what does this person want to confess to the collective spirit? Oh. I miss you. 
It says your eyes, your smell, your voice, your scent, your touch. I am missing everything. Remember how we have connected physically over our lifetimes together? My love for you is boundless and unconditional. I miss you. I miss being, I miss you being next to me. Wherever I go, I search for you everywhere. So somebody here is always looking for you. They're hoping that they get to run into you. What else? It says, I am working really hard to level up for you and meet you at, as your equal, your mirror. I know we will always grow together, but I want you to be proud of who I am today. So somebody here wants to make you proud. They want you to know that they are changing, okay? That's what it all comes down to. They don't want you, and that's why they're healing their heart. That's why they're taking necessary steps to really heal and get their stuff right because they really, truly want this to be, do it the right way. They want, They really want your forgiveness, okay, for something they've done in the past. Stabbing you in the back, causing a separation. Look, silence. It says, I'm sorry for my silence. I just needed a break, and now I don't know how to reach out to you again. I'm afraid you won't let me back. I know it's been a long time since we have been spoken, but trust me, my love. I missed you so much during this time, and I'm finding my way back to you soon. So somebody here knows they got to work on themselves. They can't just be like, they know like you're not fucking with them until they change. Some of you could have told them, look, I'm not dealing with you. Like, you need to really get your shit together. I'm tired of getting the short end of the stick. Some of you, your silence is making this, driving this person crazy. Because some of you, you're not responding back. Okay? Give me one more overall message coming from the collective's person. Mission. Okay? It says, together we are an, an unstoppable force. We have a purpose together. And I'm de determined to live it out with you. We are just perfect for it together. Or we are just perfect together we can overcome any obstacles if we work as a team yeah so this person that's that's the thing about it it's not just about them or you it's about y'all working together and i'm telling you that right now your person can be dealing with some karmic battles so give me one more confession from the collective person please soon mm -hmm. our reunion is in imminent it says that I am doing what I can to be ready for you. I'm working hard on myself to be a better provider for you. I hear your call for me and coming back to you. This is my promise to you that soon we'll reunite. But I feel like whoever this is, they they can't they know they can't just reunite for bullshit. They gotta either come correct or just leave you alone. So that's that's probably why they're being silent. Bottom of the deck is daydream. Okay. I can't get you off my mind all day, every day. I always wonder what you're doing and how you are feeling about me. Meet me in your dreams tonight so we can start making our future together in reality. I want to build a strong, solid foundation for you. Uh, for uh, some of you, you already having dreams about this person. Maybe how life should be. Maybe I wake up kind of sad and your feelings. Trust me, they feel in the same way. Somebody here is really praying. You could be this person's prayer at night. Okay, they really want you to open up. And they want to be all that you can be. This person loves you. And there's still a lot of passion. Y'all are somewhat inspiring this person to do better. They got hope. This person could be sending you signs, okay? So, yeah, that's what I got for y'all collective. I hope that y'all enjoyed y'all's reading. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, and I will see y'all later. Peace.